everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Revengers from Thor Ragnarok. Thor, Loki, Valkyrie, and Gladiator Hulk from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Ragnarok Thor looks really cool. I love the helmet. It's a nice callback to his comic version form. I love how shiny it is. It looks really nice from all angles. The face, however, does not. Not a great likeness underneath that for Chris Evans. I do like these stripes on the side, though, going down to his neck. Looking very nice. Goes up and then down and then left and right. It's a little bit pivot over here. Wishy these little fins. Very nicely done. The body is a lot of armor covered in runes. I do like how that color of the helmet goes to the color of his shoulder pad over here looking really nice he has arm wraps and a guard over here nice muscles also and a cape on the back with some straps as well you can unpeg the cape here and here but i'm not going to it looks cool though on the bottom too with some frills and stuff like that very nicely done with a back and a fourth and a swivel over here for that and the cape coming off also good up this far and down all the way around over here get a swivel over there with a double joint elbow like that you get a swivel over here and then not really much up and down or whatever articulation it doesn't really look like it articulates at all that much over here. And you swivel over here and then up and down over there. It's pretty nice and looks really cool. Better sculpted than articulated. He also has a little kind of like rubbery skirt piece over here looking cool as well as a guard over here. Shin guard. Really nice with some wrappings over here. You can take the shin guard off, put it back on for some more flair. And he does have some cool runes going all the way up at least very nicely. On the back it's just okay with this little coat over here. You do get a swivel over here without this much. Not really that great. And up this far and back not really that far you go all the way back pretty nice over there with a swivel up here and no swivel down here with a down and then up and then a pivot with two peg goes on the feet definitely a nice figure but has a lot getting in his way as far as capes and buckles and stuff and what have you but he's cool anyways gladiator thor also comes with these two swords they're very nicely done and look pretty cool they can hold well in his hands but yeah they're basically swords and not a hammer which is way cooler you can also store the swords behind this strap over here here just put them in there and they work out pretty well the head sculpt of thor from the two pack looks really nice i love this piece it's so cool it really captures chris evans from the movie i like the weird hairstyle choices he has courtesy of stan lee in a way looking really nice goes back forward get a little bit of pivot over here very nicely done with some swivel as well a really great head that i've been using for a long time for thor he also lacks the two stripes down here as well as has a different type of boot that isn't really fully brown it's just mostly kind of tattered in a way. Pretty interesting. He also has two outstretched hands. We've seen these before. They swivel and then hinge as well, working out pretty nicely. He also comes with a lightning piece, but only once you can't dual wield, but you have no idea how many Thor sets I got to get a bunch of these for Electro. And he also comes with the first iteration of Heimdall's sword that we've been seeing these past couple reviews. It looks really nice, has a lot of wash on it, and I really miss the wash on these figures. It's just so cool to see, but yeah, enjoy this while you can. And you can also put the lightning of effect on the sword really nicely done and super cool doesn't really reach the tip but hey it's pretty awesome to see loki's head sculpt is less than stellar i think they'd improved it recently with other figures but for now this one's kind of strange but i gotta say i'm going to keep it it looks nice to me and pretty cool there is a tie back here pretty interestingly enough but i gotta say this face sculpt reminds me a lot of our dearly departed richard lewis so i'm gonna keep this around as a tribute to him you get a little bit of back a little bit of forward kind of doesn't really want to work at all you get a swivel tiny bit but let's talk about the elephant in the room these pads over here loki's cape has to go down in history as one of the worst marvel legends accessories or capes known to anyone it's horrible awful terrible and should get rid of immediately it pegs in right here but every time you try to like take the head off or something or move the figure you just end up moving the cape it comes off like clockwork just super easy barely an inconvenience and yeah this is just Okay, blah, toss this thing. Loki's outfit is pretty interesting, a departure from the norm. He is mostly blue and purple with a little bit of green and gold over there. This can shift and move up and down a little bit. You do get up this far and down and all the way around with a swivel up here and a double pinned elbow over here. Jeez, that's really gummy. And a swivel with an up and down over here working out pretty nicely. I like the wraps around his hands too. It's a pretty nice feature as well as a swivel and then back really far. Forward super far. Yeah, he's a very flexible kind of guy. And your legs are pretty standard. They have a light blue with dark blue and then 
in black for your boots. Very standard, yeah, just kind of ho-hum, whatever. I do like the light blue though, it breaks it up a bit. So out this far and in, very up this far and back pretty far. Double pinned, very nicely done. And down with swivel up here, no swivel down here. Down and up and a pivot with two pegos upon the feet. And this also kind of like, not broke, but just separated a little bit. Just put that back together and pin that in and it should be fine. But yeah, kind of a lackluster Loki figure, honestly. What really makes or breaks this though is the crown here working out very nice. I do like how it looks and it's pretty cool. Long live the king, baby. Really cool in this part. It's very neat crown. The horns are very nicely done. The gold is very gold and the sculpting is pretty nice as well. And here we have a tale of two Lokis. This crown over here is molded much better than this one over there. It is much nicer of a figure. This new one really matches Loki's previous color scheme. Yes, we have the bad cape. No, I don't care. I think this one is way better than this one over here, minus this cool Richard Lewis head over there. But yeah, similar, but different. But this one is just way better, especially the face sculpt. It's so nice to see. Way good. And this Loki comes with a Tesseract. It's a really nice accessory and looks super cool. I also gotta say, I don't think this Loki comes with the crown. So yeah, win-win. Maybe I got a second Ragnarok Loki and gave him this crown, but it's just super cool. It's great on him. And this is kind of my canon MCU Loki. So yeah, just really awesome. And here are the Thors and Lokis looking really nice together with the Thors standing at about, I would say, six and three quarters inches tall. Wow, they are really tall. And we also have the Loki standing at about, I would say, six and a quarter, almost six and three quarters to the top of their horns, maybe even seven. Wow, that's super tall. Also next to Jesse Heck Creative. Hey guys, check out this little box I found. Wow, it's really cool. Super neat. Yeah, you know, maybe a genie's inside. Maybe if I rub it enough. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Out of all the Valkyries I've reviewed, this is my favorite one. I love this Valkyrie, really nicely done. The eye makeup is really cool, I love that. The skin tone is very nicely done as well, and the hair is just awesome back here in this really cool ponytail. I love this whole thing, it's great. Got a swivel over there, up, not really that great. The hair gets in the way, and down, pretty okay, but the likeness really saves this one, I love it. The body is well armored with a small skirt over here, floating belt, and what have you. I just love the grays on this though, it looks really nice. And the armor for the arms is really nicely done over here. Here, couple wraps and stuff, asymmetrical kind of, and really nicely done over there. You do get up this far and down and all the way around. You get a swivel over here, single joint elbow, maybe the other way, single joint elbow, there we go, much better over there. Swivel and then up and down over here and then down. And it just looks really nice over here with this cape. Very small cape, very thin, flimsy, but it works out better than the rest of the capes, I think, for these figures I've been reviewing. Her legs look really nice for this kind of figure. There is black mostly over here, but also a nice kind of blackish gray. This is super awesome. Awesome and very well done for these legs. We get a dagger that can't be taken out over here though, it's a shame. And the same on the other side with one more dagger over there, as well as this little thing that can zap Thor, a little taser looking thing that's pretty neat. You do get out this far and in, and then up this far, really ride that skirt up and back, not really that far. For the double joint knee working out pretty well over here. You get a swivel up here, works out pretty nicely. No swivel down here, Sally down and up, and then a pivot with two pegos the bottom of the feet. Really nice articulation, very nice figure, one of my favorites from Ragnarok. Like the end game Valkyrie, she does come with a sword that's the same kind of thing except it has silver on the bottom and then this scabbard is nice you still can't really find a place to put it on her as well but there is a really cool black part in the center with some nice silver on the outside so that's really nicely done over here and while trying to find a place to put the sword you can place it within her belt scooch it all the way down there it does actually fit nicely within this little confine over here and the sword fits really well into the scabbard so yeah this is pretty cool gladiator hulk has a really nice head sculpt I love this tampo on the side. This detail is really nicely done. His eyes look really great too. They redid this figure a little bit, working out very nicely. I do like the hair over here, working out really great. The ears nice too, and the frown is very funny. Not really face printing tech that much, but what have you. It's a nice head sculpt with good articulation, some nice paint. It's Hulk, you can see it. Hulk's body looks very nice. It's all muscly and super cool. A lot of spikes and spines over here. Armor on this side. We also get on the back some straps over here, getting up to a 
blue shoulder pad that was a different color on a previous figure with this kind of weird thing that looks like bagpipes I guess back here I'm not sure but let me show you the best part this paint is really nicely done gonna align it a little bit more and yeah that's really great on this piece it's all kind of not caked on but really lightly applied very nicely done for that you get up this far then down and all the way around you get a swivel over here at the bicep and then a single jointed elbow going up this far over here and down with a swivel at the hand and then down and up over here a little bit as well as a sort of rocker all the way around swivel over here and you get up this far with the arm really nicely this does not impede it you get not really much of a swivel at the waist kind of a little bit a little bit of swivel over there that's pretty neat yeah it's very hidden by this kind of pant belt thing but it's still pretty cool and hulk is awesome and this loincloth looking thing is all kind of cobbled together for hulk looking really nice i love these kind of pieces down here that's great we also get out this far in really far out and then up this far kind of not really that great and back not really that far you get double joint knees going back pretty okay on that you just swivel over here and then no swivel down here i do like these sandals though they're really nicely done down and then up and then a pivot with two pegals the bottom of this really super cool sandals with spikes on them why does everything have spikes yeah gladiator thor is really cool i love the accessories i love the paint i love how they redid him he looks super great he comes with a large hammer over here and a large axe what is this stormbreaker before stormbreaker but yeah they're nicely done they don't really fit too well into his hands you can kind of fudge it but yeah putting these really weird waffle iron looking things cheese grater looking things into his hands might hurt so yeah just stick with i guess sticking into his hands like this it's fine they work out pretty well for weapons and they're really nicely done he comes with a gladiator helmet really completing the look looking super awesome i love the frill on top i love how it's painted i love how this is painted over here a little bit different than this i like how the metal is different than the skin tone kind of the sweat kind of takes it off in a way it kind of is slightly movable over here it's kind of loose on his head but it works out super well it's a really great piece one of my favorite pieces actually from marvel legends on this i love this he also comes with a fist you get a swivel on that fist as well as a hinge going up and down kind of not really that great articulation but it's great if you want to punch somebody as hulk and he comes with a screaming head i love this piece it's so well done the eyes are great the teeth are wonderful his gums are like a weird kind of brownish color we also have the really nice tempo over here and the gray on his sides pretty interesting makes me think if they wanted to use it for professor hulk or something but i guess they didn't maybe they saved it or something but yeah i'm glad to have this and it looks even better with the helmet super nice and awesome love it and here we have valkyrie and gladiator hulk next to gladiator thor as well as loki from ragnarok and they all look nice together the revengers valkyrie stands at about i would say six and a quarter inches tall and hulk is around i would say eight inches tall he's super tall super awesome and really cool they all look really nice together and also wait where's jesse heck creative oh! can i join the revengers now Ugh. Overall, we will Ragnarok you. Gladiator Thor is a really nice figure, as is the two-pack Thor, but I think if you combine the parts and just ditch one of the bodies, you'll have a much better figure in the end. I love the sculpt paint accessories on both, but having two figures is just redundant. The same with Loki, give the crown to the one from Infinity War, and it's a much better character. I like the blue and purple and gold, but if I had to pick one, it would be Infinity War. Just so great, especially that head sculpt. Valkyrie is awesome, Hasbro stuck the landing the first time i love this figure she's really great even if she doesn't have daggers that can come out or that taser thing she's still a winner gladiator hulk is such a great glow up from the build of figure they really fix the paint and accessories this one is just awesome amazing and basically perfect with that screaming head if you're a fan of the mcu thor ragnarok or the revengers these are the figures for you but i would highly recommend the two-pack thor and valkyrie as well as the hulk they're both awesome but make no mistake these figures just Ragnarok. So which figure is your favorite? Thor, Valkyrie, Hulk, or Loki? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.